I would now like to invite Laura Bailey, partner manager of Barclay Card, to the rostrum. Hi everyone, hello, hello. <laughs> Um, so, I'm Laura Bailey. I am a partnership manager here at Barclay Card. I'm sure a lot of you guys out in the audience are already very familiar with the relationship that Barclay Card and the NFRN already have. We have a prioritised um, pre preferential rate card for all of the members that will give you an exclusive rate card that will save payments on your card terminals. And this is an average... Ooh, Sorry, this is an average of 20%. So today, I want to talk to you. Um, I want to introduce ourselves. We are here and go through who's here today. Go through the proposition and also some live case studies that we have that, with members that we have helped this year. So it looks really good. Also, some frequently asked questions. We've tried to think of them all, um, but I'm sure there's some we've missed. There's always someone. And so I'll open it up to you guys as well, and you can let, let me know any of the questions you may have as well. So, first of all, who's here today? You've got myself, obviously, Laura Bailey. We also have John Tweddle, and he is Head of Small Business Partnerships. Jackie Stanton, who is a senior payment specialist, and Nick Jennings, who is a payment specialist as well. So Jackie and Nick both specialise in working closely with the NFRN members, and they can help you here today with your savings. So they've onboarded many over the year and have worked really closely with them. So definitely find them. They will be out there and um, they'll definitely be able to help you guys. So... Barclays, Barclay card. I'm sure you guys already know of Barclays. I think if you've ever walked down a high street, you would have seen us. Um, but also, a lot of you guys probably already bank with us already as well. Um, we have 130,000 customers and clients that we work with already within the banking. But what I want to do to talk to talk to you about with today is the acquiring side. We are the second largest acquirer in Europe. So to put that into perspective, we, trans we process one in three transactions in the UK. That's a third of all car payments that go through are through Barclay Card. So it's definitely worth speaking with us. Um, I, you, one thing I do want to make clear, you don't have to bank with Barclays in order to work with Barclay Card. I probably question why you don't, but that's probably just because I'm biased. Um, so what I'm going to show you now, it's really good. It's our pricing. So this here has been exclusively created for only the NFRN members. This is not our uh, payments as usual charges that we work with or the industry. So I'm obviously, I don't expect any of you to know your um, pricing off by heart. It'd be very strange if you did. But I will talk around a couple of points here. So the first part, is the authorization fee. So we only charge 00 0.5 pence for every transaction. That's a fifth of a penny. So if you can put this in perspective to what the industry charges, you're looking at 3p to 4.5p. And we charge around 3p ourselves for normal customers as well. So when I was a payment specialist, I would have taken off someone's right arm to be able to offer this, so very good. And the second part that I'll mention is the debit card rate. So you can see here, it's down as, as little as 0.29%. Now the reason this is so important is because your industry as such will take 80% debit card payments. The reason that's so is because any payments under 20 pounds that go through an instant transaction will all be made on a debit card. So this is going to be a key area that you will see a huge saving. So just between the two of those, without me having to go through any more detail, you will see a huge impressive decline of huge bills. So it will definitely work well. But again, um, our payment specialists are here. They will be out there and you can discuss this further with them. I see a few of you taking photos, but we have it all on paper for you as well. So we can run through that in more detail. So why now? So we are also running a campaign. This is actually for our normal customers, but we're allowed to offer it to the NFRN members as well. You can take payments now 
without any rental or management fee for a full 12 months. So it's the best time to join us, best time to set up. So how does this work? So if you sign up by the 31st of December 2021, you will either get zero online management fees, so that's if you're online trading, or zero monthly rental fees on your card readers. You can actually have both and at the same time. So if you do trade online, we can do both for you. So the pros of the partnership with Barclay Card, obviously discounted trade association member pricing we have exclusively to you. And we also have next day payment settlement. So as a whole, most of you now probably have card machines that when the customer comes in to pay, you have to wait three days to get the money and it goes directly into your account. This is standard, but what Barclay Card now offer is we will do next day payment settlement and there will be zero charge for it. So one thing after speaking with a lot of the NFRM members over the last few months, they really like this for the cash flow side of things. So cash flow is key and we can get that added onto you as well. Then we've got speedy onboarding. So the moment you sign your paperwork, we can have you live and saving money within 10 days. It's that quick. So again, speak to our payment specialists. You can see my theme here. Um, and then we also have scale up options. So as your business grows, we will grow with you. So if you open more stores, more branches, your store gets bigger or just uh, busier, we can add this on and you will still get the NFRN membership rates as well. So. Um, what I want to do is just go through five case studies. These here are the members that we have worked with live this year. Even during COVID, we've managed to save them money. So the first one I'm going to show you, it's three shops and the card turnover alone, so just card, is 1.7 million. And the annual saving on the NFRN rate was nearly £9,000 per annum. That's 66% off by having the campaign involved as well. So his bill has gone less than half. It's really good news. And then our second case, we've got one shop here and it's 396k turnover and it is an annual saving of 2,700. See that's 36%, which is still a huge saving. It's a third off, but that's without the campaign. So still a great saving there. And then you've got case study three. So we've got 331k turnover and a 2,700 saving, and that's using the campaign, and again, 63% off. Uh, one shop, again, 456k turnover and a 1,500 saving. And then for the last one, we've got another one with two shops with a card turnover of 417k, and that's a 2,300 per annum saving with um, the NFRA rate card, but not with the campaign. So, what I'm going to do now is just go to some frequently asked questions. These are probably the most common ones we seem to get throughout the day. So the first one is, this sounds great, but what if I'm already in a contract? And it's quite common. So definitely, of course, speak to your current provider, see what length you have left in your contract. But either way, one thing I would definitely say is if you were to take your car machine and just put it in a drawer and not use it again, you'd only be paying for the card terminal. And because of the Barclay card campaign, you won't be paying for two products at the same time. You won't be doubling up paying for your terminals. And so for the rate card, you'll be able to save the money on the rates and just still only be paying for one terminal. And we've got a few members that have done that. They had one guy, I think, had 18 months left and he still managed to pick this and save, I think, 23%. So still have a look at that. It's not cutting everything off yet. Um, so yeah, and then we have, what if I have an EPOS system? I think majority of businesses now are moving into a smart EPOS provider and there are thousands out there. And we do integrate with many, but what I probably suggest to do is speak to your payment specialist and they'll run through who you're working with and how that works and go into more detail. There's a few different situations there. Um, and yeah, good question. How do we know if the cost is realistic? We have a margin analysis tool and what that allows us to do is we can take one of your statements and look at the genuine type of payments you're getting, your credit card types, your debit, the average value, put all that data into this system and we'll be able to get a very genuine exact result as the money that you will save for that year. So it's not just something we're claiming to do, we can prove it and see how much it can actually impact your business, which is how we're very accurate on our case studies as well. 
So we can look into that. All we need from you is a statement, and then we can see what we can do while working with the payment specialists. And yes, yeah, so overall, we can get you onboarded with Barclay Card very quickly. We have tremendous exclusive rates for you guys out there. And we can also add the campaign. So there is no better time to join us. So if you do feel you're missing out on this opportunity, please come find us. We are out that direction. I only know that way how to get to us. Um, but we are here today, so come find Jackie and Nick. But if you are busy and have to rush off uh, at any point today, I haven't got round to it, just contact the NFRN directly and they will put you in touch with us. But definitely have a little look at it. So yeah, that's everything from me. Just seeing if you guys have any questions. Is there anyone? Yep. Yeah. Did you put your hand up? Oh, I'm just making your pen work. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> okay, question. There's, there's a microphone down here. So the microphone's down here, not the roving mic. The microphone's down here if anybody's got questions. This side. This side. I'm sure Craig... Where's Craig? Craig needs to get up here. I'm going to preempt him, of course, but I know he is. <laughs> okay, Peter. Thank you. Hello. Hi there. Um, PCI DCE MS. Yep. Probably the bane of our life. Definitely. <laughs> Barclays, you use a system where you can either pay to have it managed or you can manage it yourself. Yeah, that's right. I manage it myself but it seems Barclays make it quite difficult to keep on top of it. Okay. You, know, you, you get, you, when you do it, you're told, yeah, you're compliant for six months or 12 months, and then you get an email a couple of days later saying you need to do this task, that task, the other task. I think there needs to be a, a wholesale review of how you're treating your customers with regards to, the, to this, because it is onerous and, and it's, if you fail to comply with it, of course, the charges rack up quite quickly. Yep. So, I, so I'd be very grateful if you could take that back to yeah. the business. And, and there needs to be a simplified way of doing it. And, and when you get something that says you're, you're compliant, it should stick. Yeah, I definitely agree. It is the bane of everyone's life with a card machine or online trading. And that's across all acquirers. It's a government's that has to comply with. We tend to send out emails now every uh, three months to six months with warning because we have had that feedback and so have other acquirers. Um, that's also why we created the management that we manage it for you. I know it is an additional um, nine pounds a month, but it does give peace of mind. But I will feed that back if it is even harder than it has been. But generally, that's why we say, look, we'll manage it for you. For the, the hassle and the time it takes for you to have to deal with it, just let us take care of it okay. for you. Okay, next do, question. Do, next question. We've got a lot of... We, can we're I come back on that very question? Uh, we, sorry? On, I'd just like to come back on that question. Well, very briefly, please. So, so if one has multiple shops, is it £9 per, per statement, per shop? Or is it, is it just for the, for the... It will be per mid number. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Next thank question. You. Okay, uh, Cole de Prosecon, District Delegate for West Midlands. Um, some time ago, uh, my staff was working in the shop and we were subject to fraud. Um, some persons came into the store and they were actually putting a code in while somebody was distracting and they purchased quite a lot of cigarettes. And anyway, we, we, we obviously had a standoff with Barclays after, and they said it was in, they said there's a system which you should have disabled, or you asked, to, to, so asked us to disable for you. And uh, I said, where, where, why is the system in there for? Why, how can they put this code in? Obviously, your, your high-tech people who work, they must have had a, a fail-safe there. If they haven't, then obviously your, your systems your 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 pen pad isn't safe then and they said it is safe but it's for on it, it's for over the phone banking you've got the system i said i've never used that i always want to use it in the store face to face they said well you should have asked you disable it it's in your contract how many people read the contract <laughs> uh, and in the end anyway in the end anyway cut a long story short it was 500 pound 
they took 60% of the of, 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 of the hit and we had to deal with the £200. But, the f but if they had put it in in the first place and then if we requested to have the, this system where we could take payments over the phone... Okay, okay. Yeah. Got the I question. think with that situation, that is a cardholder not present transaction. They aren't as secure yeah. and that is all for all payment providers. But I, I will speak to you offline about that situation of what could have been done. Um, it's just something that you could could have done on the systems and also be aware of by some of the transactions they are higher risk by doing the payment over the phone okay and thank you next question hi um Nally patel westminster district um have you considered the the roles that you charge american express pci compliance and your contract after 12 months what is the procedure so first That's of all, all costing <laughs> yeah, um, so there isn't a contract with us at the moment. So we do say verbally 12 months, but if there were any issues, if you chose that there was an issue with the business or you just didn't want to work with us anymore, we can cancel that before the 12 months. And um, American Express rates, they're all preset by American Express, unfortunately. But you have got that on the screen though. Pardon? You haven't got that American Express on the screen now, separately though. Um, was it not on the slide? American but it is a set rate of 1.9%. So no matter what business, no, it's not on anymore. Um, yes, yeah, so no matter what business you're in, no matter what industry, American Express are independent and they decide that, which is why you have a separate statement from them. So unfortunately, we can't set that, I'm afraid. Okay, thank, <laughs> thank you. you. Next question. Shamila Malik, Northwest District. National Council. Um, I'd like to ask you, you said that the contract is for 12 months free and you, there's no charges on the cards for the year. So after that, do we get charged back on the preferential rate of the federation rates or do we go back to variables? So the the free part is the 12 month terminal rental, so the actual card machines, and those rates are fixed for the whole time that you are with the NFRN. Okay, so we okay. So we won't get extra charges? After no, that. no, they are fixed and there's no hidden fees okay, as well. Okay, speaker. Hi, afternoon. Sassy Patel, Bury and Rochdale Branch. Um, two questions. First one is, how did I manage to get for my five sites a better rate for myself than you got the whole of the NRFN? Because I've shared my statements with Craig and I'm cheaper than you guys, substantially, with you guys, with Barclays. So... Are you really giving us the best price or are you just playing the game and giving us what you thought compared to before was the best price? Yeah. So that'd be very interesting to see your rates. So is that part of the NFRN? No, I did it with a till company um, uh, to get the scale. Um, but okay, I know the NFRN has more members. Yeah. So the scale here should I be know better. what's happened. So you've gone through a broker. So we call them ISOs. So what tends to happen with these guys? They go in on very low rates and they're not fixed. So within three to six months, they can increase. And they've also got interchange rates, scheme fees, all on top of it, because we make money on a lot of these providers. So how can we make a profit if they're undercutting us? So we see it all the time, but it's not a genuine... Tra transparent pricing structure. But I can go through your statement after this and show you how it works. I'll, I'll share my statements. They've not changed since 2019. The second yeah. question, um, the, the saving you can make on the cards is marginal compared to the saving we can make on actual cash banking. When are you going to bring one of them packages to the table for us? Cash banking, at, I'm from Barclay Cards, so it's a bit tricky. I can't really explain that side of the business, but I can give you a contact in the bank anyway. Oh, thank you. Okay, thank no you. Problem. Next question. Hi, uh, it's Craig Etchells, uh, North West Manchester and Bolton Branch. I actually switched to Barclays last year. I was um, with Elevon before, so I was getting next day settlement anyway, which is one of the advantages of being yeah. with them. Um, but I've just looked it up and I was, I was actually paying 3.8p for each authorisation. That's where my big savings were. And I think it was May last year, I think I did about a 1,600 quid um, bill with Elevon. Yeah. I've been with you guys at the time, would have been about half or just less than half. I could have saved nearly about a grand. Yeah. Well, I'm with you now. And the only thing I was going to ask you, to be honest, was going forward, are you going to have a better online um, facility? Because at the moment you get your statements through the post, you can't get them, can you? Online? Yeah. So if you're Barclays banked at the moment, you can. Are you Barclays banked? No. 
your fault. Um, so, <laughs> so any we priority prioritise the Barclays Bank customers first, so that they can see the same on the same portal their online statements. But what we actually did is we put the one that we had previously on pause because we got a new version coming out. I have heard it will be. Um, I don't think it'd be Q4, but I think it will be at the beginning of next year because we know how important it is. But we have rolled it out for Barclays customers. We'll add you guys on shortly. We know it's really important. It's too old fashioned with the paper. So yeah, but okay, thank, thank you, you very much. So, so Craig, we could hardly hear what you were saying there. How much, oh, are, you, how much are you actually saving per well, month? Back then, in May last year, I did about a 600 pound bill with um, Elevon. I'd have been about half that or just slightly less than half. So you're saving £800 per month? That was based last month, last year. It's dropped back down to my pre-pandemic, but I'm still saving about half. I'm still saving a good six, probably under quid a month. Per month? Per month, yeah, between wow. the two shops. Okay, thank you. Next yeah. question. Thank you very much. I changed over to you last October. Okay. I've saved a lot of money. February, I also integrated my tills with the RDP, so it's even better. But my question to you is, when are you going to offer the NFRN a good banking deal? I agree. I, I am all for that. It will happen. Um, we're Being part of partnerships, we work in line with the banking team, and I'm pretty sure they would be happy to do it. One thing being so big, there is quite a lot of um, red tape, or we call it blue tape, but it's definitely something they will look into to work with. Um, I'll put it forward to the right person. I'm sure they'd be happy to pick it up with one of you guys directly and see how we can manage that, because I agree with you, it should okay, be. So, so just for information, uh, with Bartley Card in particular, everything we do with Bartley Card has to go through New York, everything. We cannot do anything with Bartley Card unless it's been sanctioned and we are told very specifically if we do anything outside of their terms that that deal will be removed. I can assure you that bookers, for instance, would love to have the deal that we've got. Yeah. They'd love to have it, but they can't because they can't get through the red tape with Tesco, which is brilliant for us as members. So all I can tell you is we are talking to the banking side, but it's slow. It takes us a lot of red tape to get through and it's, it's really exaggerating in terms of what we can promote. We, we as individual members can say how much we're saving. That's why I want somebody like Craig on the floor that's saving that sort of money on a monthly basis. Not a yearly basis, a monthly basis. Unfortunately, we in the Federation, we as officials cannot put an advert in a paper to say this is how much these, the, this is what you can save. We can't even publish the rates because these rates are so good for us individuals is that other people want them, other trade associations want them, and other, other businesses want them that they work with, and they can't get hold of them. But we as individuals can do that. So when you are saving, ring, ring our contact centre, 0800 121 6376, the number, and make sure you let them know that this is what you're saying, because once you tell us, we can then publicise your story about what you're doing. Thank you. Next speaker. Yeah, thank you very much. Ravi from uh, London District. Uh, I was a back record user for the last 25 years uh, since uh, very old uh, NFR and uh, contract, recently changed to a new one. One, I have two problems with uh, back records. One is, is uh, uh, I would like to know whether you can create a one point contact for NFR and uh, membership to sort out issues. Because we have to deal with several departments, several people talk different, different things. We end up in confusion. They never solve the problem. Okay. Right? That is one of the thing. Second thing is, uh, since uh, mobile devices used to do the payments, and it's not very clear whether we will be charged on a debit rate or credit rate. We are continuously, I challenge Barclay card, never got an answer. Okay. So what I want to look at it, every transaction, what is the rate charge? Is there is a portal where we can access into it? They are promising, but uh, never promises. Yeah, so that's similar to what we just had previously. So just to your first question, 
I think if you signed up with Barclay Card a while ago, um, you didn't have an account manager. Whereas now, just for example, Jackie or Nick over there, that if you sign up with us now, if there were any issues, you can go back to them, as well as our 24 seven support. So um, I can put you in touch with someone and they can help you with that. The statement wise with the credit and debit card, is it on your paper statement? It should be on there. So I can uh, speak to you afterwards. It, no, individual transaction I'm talking about. I'm not talking about collectively. Right. Individual, because uh, I can talk it out outside of this uh, room. When a person load up onto their phone as a debit card, credit card, especially Barclay, when their debit card is uh, you know, loaded up onto a, a device, when we put it through, it seems to be like charging as a credit card charges. So I addressed this several times. I do not want to bring it up here, but I addressed this uh, several times. Um, uh, nobody giving a correct answer. That's what I want to verify myself, each individual transaction, whether charged uh, correctly. Yeah. Uh, there's something that can support can run through with your statements, but I'll have to pick up with you after this and go through it in more detail yeah, with you. I was going to suggest, do yeah. a one-on-one -on -one with that and yeah. that'll be fine. Um, okay, on behalf of the Federation, thank you very much for presenting. Thanks everyone. Uh, Bye. Okay.